Hey everybody, it's Eric again. Um, one more thing I had to put on my list that I didn't have on there was seam sealer. I should have done that before I painted the, the black on the bottom of the car, but I forgot. So I'm gonna have to come along and touch that up later. Um, there's not a lot of places on the bottom of the car here that had seam sealer, so it's actually not that big a deal. Um, it's kind of mostly up in the corners and stuff. Um, and I didn't bust out a lot of the seam sealer that was there because it was so hard to get out. So there's really not that much to do. Um, but I do want to go along the places where I was doing these welds. All these little spots that you can see here. Uh, I got to do this line inside the wheel well here. Um, like I said, the bottom of the car really didn't have any seam sealer on it uh, when I stripped it down. So I don't really think there needs to be much going on there. But the inside of the trunk and under here, I need to get that stuff done. So I'm going to try and bust that out of the way here real quick. My Camaro has pinstripes. Yes. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I've masked everything off here for the seam sealer. Uh, I've done a lot of this by memory because uh, I don't have good pictures of what this thing looked like before. Um, silly me. Um, so, I'm going to do the, the best I can here. Uh, if you guys notice any spots that I missed, let me know. Uh, like I said, back in the corner here, I didn't touch that seam sealer back there, so it's okay. Uh, inside of the trunk. I did most of the seam sealing in here when I painted the trunk, so this is largely done. Um, I just have to redo the areas where I was mucking around with the drop-off pan panels since I redid this whole panel here. I gotta redo all of it. That one up there is just a little corner that I have to touch up. Uh, all that area is done up in there from before. And this little corner up through here. I think that's it. Alright, so I'll get the seam sealer on there. So this is what I'm using for seam sealer. For those who didn't see that video before, it's this nice pretty baby blue. <laughs> All right, like I said, a lovely shade of baby blue. I dripped some of it on there and I tried to wipe it off. It doesn't come off. I use acetone, it doesn't want to come off. It did dull my primer though. Don't have that lovely semi-gloss black there anymore. Uh, so, got that corner there as we mentioned, all of that stuff. See along here and up under this guy all the way around. So hopefully I didn't miss anything. You can see there were more of that stuff dribbled on there. See another good reason why I didn't put the finishing coat on this yet. <laughs> um, I'm gonna wait, as mentioned in the comment in the last video, to put the Raptor liner on this when the car is done, basically, because. I can see myself constantly causing problems here. And uh, I still have to do this quarter panel, so I'm gonna be welding and grinding in here, so I'll probably be destroying that finish in there, so. I will wait and do that later. All right, so. Now that all that is done, I'm gonna move on to what I wanted to do this day, which was finish up this quarter panel body work here. Um, this bottom part, as you can see here, is all wobbly. Um, if you didn't see the video that I did uh, to put this patch in, I had to beat the snot out of the panel to get it to form to this shape because it kind of came straight down like this. Um, so I had to create that surface there. So it's a little beat up. Um, it's not too bad actually, but it is a little uneven. Um, so I got myself the uh, shrinking disc. Last week. I've never used this before. I have no idea how well this is going to work, but I've seen videos on it. It looks like it works pretty well, so we're going to give it a try. All right, this is all new to me now. I have never done any of this stuff before. Camera right there. Uh, so I ground off most of the fiberglass that I put in here because it was really kind of a hack. It was pretty thick. 
Um, it's a pretty good low spot right here, big low spot right there if you remember. Um, so I'm going to try and pull this dent out right here first. It's not really a dent, it's a low spot. I created it with the welder. So I'm going to try and pull that out, um, kind of work my way along here. This is really low back here. I did this intentionally, I tapped it down, but I just tapped it down too much. Uh, so, have stud welder and a whole bunch of little studs. I'm going to go ahead and put, the, put some of those guys in. Like I said, I've never done this before, so bear with me. I used this stud welder uh, a few weeks ago just to hold a piece of metal out of the welding, but I've never used it for its actual purpose. That was fun. Okay. Down. Now, I have a feeling I'm going to have to start painting some commissions or something to Roger, Mr. Fireman 164, because I, I keep borrowing so many of his ideas. Stud lever, yes. Well, here's another one of his ideas. Um, let me get my... Hang on one second. Where is it? More stuff. Spoon, Martin spoon. So as I said before, this is all of this is new to me, so I really don't know what the heck I'm doing. So bear with me. spot to tap down is right there, I guess. the big high spot right there that I was trying to get rid of when I was working on it. Let's see. It was a little high right there now. The straight edge. That took a straight edge. Actually, might be a good 
the candidate for the shrinking disc right there. Okay, I think those are pretty good now. Uh, pliers. Some people make this part look really easy here. Stud on there. Let me get another pair of pliers. Hold on. Try the snips on the middle one. Try the lineman's pliers on the last one here. Just to pop off. I'll have to grind those off. Guess they weld it on too well. All right. Let me grind those down. Definitely created a high spot right there now. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna leave that though. I'm gonna try the shrinking disc on that and see if that will take that down. Um, overall this feels better. Other than that, it's too high, like I said. Um, now this is, sorry, I can't see very well, I need some magnifying glasses. This is about sixteenth uh, of an inch down right there, so I'm going to try and pull that up a little bit. See how that goes. It's not down much. Seems like it was further down than it actually is. I'll give it a try. <coughs> Interesting, this feels a lot worse than it actually is. It's actually not that bad, but it just feels awful. you guys can hear me. My camera has a habit of being too quiet. And I'm not right up on it. Right there. I don't have any fans or anything running in here today, so it should be pretty quiet.
a little bit more here. It's also a little tough because the, uh, the panel's got a curve to it, right? So you lay a flat straight edge on it like that and it looks flat, but it actually shouldn't be flat. It should have a little crown to it. so it's kind of hard to visually tag along here. Um, but this is really low right here, so I'm going to try and pull that up. In fact, so I'll bring the camera and I'll show you that. <coughs> Alright, so hopefully you can see here there's not a whole lot of light coming through there. And right here, a ton. So this needs to come up right here quite a bit. I think I can probably live with the rest of this. And you can see the high spot right there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so this, I went back and worked on this spot a little bit more because it was pretty rough. Um, so it is better now. It's still low. Um, but the metal's kind of thin back here in the quarter, quarter panel. Um, so when I put those studs in, it tends to leave a hole behind, so I end up having to do a bunch of welding when I'm done, so I don't want to work too hard on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill that gap with fiberglass because it's just too hard to do anything else, and I think that's okay. It's just this one little spot right there. Okay, so that's it for that. We're ready to move on to the shrinking disc. Woo! All right, so as I mentioned in an earlier video, I got the four and a half inch disc, I think it was. Um, and first thing for anybody that wants to get this is you need an angle grinder that you can remove the uh, guard with this one because it sits inside the guard and if your guard sticks up at all past this level here you won't be able to get this thing flat. So luckily I had two grinders, one of them I could take the guard off. So, Alright, so I started out putting some Sharpie on here. You can see the high spot right there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hit it with the shrinking disc and see what happens. In the uh, video they have online, they use that uh, blue color and stuff. I don't know what that stuff is called. Uh, I'm trying the Sharpie. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't just get all over the disc and screw it up, but anyway, we're going to give it a try. So you are supposed to cool this thing off with a little bit of soapy water. So I heat it up for a second just until it starts to get hot and then spray it with the water to cool it off, wipe it down. Rinse, repeat, just keep doing that. So, I'm gonna give it a try. Alright, so a little soapy water here. Spray. Hopefully, this bottle works. Okay. They say to use the soap for lubrication. Alright, let's give it a try. getting that hot enough or not. It does look like it's shrinking though. You see the areas getting s the sharpies disappearing. Okay. 
That area steamed up right there, so that area is getting hot. I'm concerned about that area. This is the area I'm worried about. But it does feel like it's getting lower. You could see the water uh, boiling off there when I hit it. So that high spot is pretty well gone now. I think. Let's get the. Hang on a second. All right, so come through here now. That's where the high spot was. You can see it's at the same level as the rest of the panel now. So this is a little high right here. Let's see if I'm gonna try and take that down a little bit and see what happens. But yeah, that worked. Cool. This is good here now. A little high in through here. actually feel that as a low spot now. It's interesting. <laughs> I'm picking too much off there. Let's go with that little straight edge. Alright, I think I'm gonna stop here for this part. I'm fairly happy with that. It is kind of hard to tell what this should look like since, like I said, this is supposed to have a crown on it. And it's pretty flat, so I think I've taken all the crown out. But I guess I can build that back up. I don't think it's off by a lot. But until I start actually sanding this and building that edge up, I'm not sure how much crown is supposed to be there. So, all right, so we're going to move on to the bottom part here. I'll crank the car over a little bit to make this uh, easier to see what's going on there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, this is all pretty smooth in through here. It's just this edge right here that's pretty chewy. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to run the Sharpie across that. You can already see where the low spots are, but I'm going to hit it anyway to make it more obvious. Okay, there we go. I'm going to start over here, I guess. Have at it. Let's see what we get.
really hard to get into this corner back here with all this rotisserie and everything in the way, but I'll go ahead and leave that right there for now. for about 15 minutes or so it feels pretty smooth um, I can't really do much down here where the welds and everything are because it's you know all the fiberglass and everything but uh, yeah that's the, the underside so I'm just gonna leave that as is but this here feels pretty good there's still some low spots in there which I can't really pull out I've tried you can use the shrinking disc to actually pull the metal up too like there's a dent right there that I was able to pull out um, but anyway, I got some 180 on a block here. I'm gonna block this down and see what it looks like. Is anything? that tell us. Um, you can see there's still some low spots in through here. See that low spot right there. Uh, it still feels a little warbly. Not super happy with it. Um, spend some more time on it I guess and see if I can get it to level out any more bit. As a, a base for filler, I think that's probably pretty good. Um, certainly way better than where it started. Um, these high spots here, that's where the welds are, so I can't, can't really do any better than that. I might just call that a day. That's pretty decent, actually. Um, ideally, you'd want to hammer and dolly this stuff and get it as good as you can before you use the shrinking disc on it, but that's really about all I can do, um, I think. So, um, I'm going to clean this up, uh, and then I think I'll shoot some epoxy on it, and I'll go ahead and put some filler on it over that, and I think that's about as good as I'm going to get here. Um, let me see if I can use the straight edge to see anything there. This is so crowned here, it's kind of impossible. So, I guess we can look at it this way. And it's pretty straight, looking at it like this. And even that low spot there is like a 64th of an inch or something, there's really not much going on. Feel it. I can't see it really with this. It's tiny. Yeah, so let me uh, let me sand this down, and I'm gonna go ahead and put some epoxy on it. I wasn't too worried about trash in this since I'm going to be putting filler and stuff all over this. I just sprayed it with the door open here and there's a lot of trash in it, but it looks actually fairly smooth. That, uh, 
The disc did a pretty good job. If you remember how bad that thing looked before. So I think I did wipe the filler will take care of that. Anyway, that's the first coat. Alright, we're going to call it a day there. Um, you can still see that low spot right there, but it's certainly not as bad as it was. Um, this bottom edge looks actually pretty good, considering how just brutalized it was. It's not too bad. Um, I think I can I can work with that. Now this is where the car is up in the air here, so this is down on the ground. You're really not going to be able to see this very well. Um, so anyway, it's going to have a, a skim coat of filler over it, which will cover up most of that. Um, filler is going to be a little heavy up in here, as I mentioned before, um, but I think that's okay. Uh, this being my first attempt at body work and starting from a pretty rough place, uh, I'm not going to try and get this perfectly smooth in the metal. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll use some filler on here. I'm not going to be ashamed. Um, Hopefully the other body work I do will be better quality than that um, and won't require as much work, but I think it's okay. Um, anyway, so next time we'll go ahead and put some filler over this and then that'll give us an idea of just how bad things are or good, as the case may be. Um, I think things look worse than they are. You saw when I had the straight edge, there really isn't a lot of gap there, um, but the black definitely brings it out. All right, uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Take it easy, everybody.